Hey guys, what's up? This is Nanya from Tech Barrack Solutions and today we will learn on how to download torrent files safely without viruses and malwares. Many people have downloaded files from torrent websites and they have been infected, their personal computers have been infected with viruses or malwares. So first I will clear the doubt. The torrent files that is with the extension of .torrent, these files don't have the viruses. The files that we download via these .torrent websites through a uTorrent client, those files may have virus or malware. The .torrent file is just to connect to large number of peers via a uTorrent client and download the files that we want. So the .torrent files do not have the viruses. Now second, is there any safe torrent site? The answer is no. The paid torrent sites also may have torrent files which may have viruses or malware. So there is no safe torrent websites in the world. So don't be in the, under, under the impression that that torrent website charges me. So that torrent website will defi definitely will have good torrents. Now the next thing is the solution. How should we download the files without virus or malware? First is download only legal files. Do not download illegal softwares or games because these illegal softwares or games usually have cracked files which uh, contain the key gen of that software. Now these files are usually corrupted and they may have virus or malware and they are the biggest source of viruses or malware on your personal computers. Now the next thing is make use of Torrents website. Now Torrents is like Google search engine. Torrents tracks around 12 to 15 torrent websites and it will give you results from all these torrent websites so you do not have to manually go to a particular torrent website to search for a particular torrent. So this is a great feature of torrents and I would urge users to use torrents rather than going to a individual website. After that check for the ratings. So let's go to torrents and there let's search for Ubuntu now as I told you check for the ratings so in torrents these ratings are known as torrent reputation now the larger the number better it is the first torrent is having a reputation of 5 the second one is having 1 I'm going for the second one now once I click on the torrent you can see it gives me these many torrent websites so I can just click on any one of these link and I can download from any one of these website. At the bottom you can see it gives me how many people have verified it as a good torrent. So 7 people say that yeah this is a good torrent file and none of them says that it is a fake or it has a password or it, it is low quality or it has a virus. All of the people say that it is a really good torrent. And these are the ratings that we have got from the torrents search engine. Now at the bottom you have user comments. Always look at the user comments too because they give you a lot of information about that torrent, particular torrent. Now many people will also post whether it has a virus or not. That's really good because many times many torrent websites don't have rating systems and comments are the best source to know whether there is a virus in the torrent uh, in that particular file of the torrent or not. And you will also get number of comments which says works great thanks thanks a lot dude and all that stuff and the second comment says unable to dual boot with windows 7 so this this is his problem there is no problem with the file that we want to download because this guy says that it works great and thanks but you cannot rely on one particular comment and you want some more ratings too so the next thing is to go to these other torrent websites so let's say I will go to 1337x.org. I will also go to piratebay.se. Let's go to Torlock. Let's go to Fenipe. Let's go to S33T. So now let's go to 1337x.org. Now in this website, the ratings are given at the top with uh, like and dislike. It is similar to Facebook style of likes and uh, comments are over here. And this guy says, is this for 32 bit or 64 bit? So basically that's a doubt that he's asking. There's no ratings in the comments about how good the torrent is, whether the software is working fine or not. 
and here's the description let's go to the next torrent website that's the piratebay.se now the piratebay.se is one of the best and the finest torrent website for getting ratings from comments because it is one website which will have maximum number of comments on any torrent you can see it says sorry i should have said it's 386 des desktop version the other one says fine thanks so the third one is asking whether it is 32 bit someone says it's great someone says it's thanks a lot so many people are saying that it's a good torrent and they've got good ratings from the torrent search engine too let's have a look at fenepi okay it's torlog now in torlog the rating is given right over here you can see five people have voted it that it's a good torrent so we have got a lot of good ratings and at the bottom you can see thanks 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 so that's really good this speaks a lot about the torrent now in fenepi you have again the like and all that stuff so there is no current likes but only one comment which says awesome and we have also information about the cedars and it also says it's a verified torrent and in s33t we don't have any ratings so we have got as it is we have got a lot of good ratings from other torrent websites so we can go for this torrent and because because of the ratings and the comments we just come to know that this torrent is really good now what should we do after the ratings and comments we should avoid installing files especially video files which are in .rar format now whenever how should you know whether that video file is in a in a .rar format before installing the torrent it's pretty simple let's go to torrents and over there let's search for any movie let's go to iTorrents actually and let's search for any movie like the amazing spider-man and at the bottom you can see the torrent contents now in the torrent contents uh, just check whether it is not in the .rar format you can see it's in VOB format so that's fine because movies in .rar format are usually fake people just make these files of .rar format just to fool people so just make sure that you do not download .rar format video files now next is to avoid the exe file virus now many a times you download softwares which have exe file now antivirus programs i don't know have some strange behavior against these exe files they usually detect viruses in almost almost any exe files because they just think that there's a this exe file may be a threat to your pc now of course it's a executable file so it has to be a threat but it is not necessary that all the fi exe files are corrupted but these antivirus programs have some problem with these exe files so don't worry many a times it might say that this file may be malicious or dangerous to your computer you don't have to trust these antivirus softwares always i would suggest go with the comments and the ratings that's more than enough so these are few things which i found and uh, these are really good things which might help you to prevent downloading torrent files without viruses and malwares so that's it with this video guys i hope you liked it please rate comment subscribe and visit techbarrack.com